What's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So things ain't looking too good for Deviation Games. So it's reported um, that Deviation Games was hit with uh, a large layoff. Um, and this hasn't been, there has been no official acknowledgement or announcement um, from Deviation Games themselves or PlayStation. Um, but the developers, some of the developers have came out on LinkedIn and said they were laid off and now they're looking for new employment. Um, so if you don't remember, Deviation Games is one of the studios, uh, a new studio comprised of former uh, Call of Duty and I think Respawn developers who decided to, you know, form their their own um, their their own studio and, and create in partnership with PlayStation. This is a PlayStation black backed product. They were creating a um, a triple A first person shooter that was most likely going to be uh, most likely going to be one of PlayStation's live service games, their games as a service. Now, if you've noticed, PlayStation has been um, acquiring a few of these studios um, that were working on first time projects uh, for them. You know, these studios that they par partnered with some some uh, some way through the development process uh sony has decided like okay we see the progress you're making and we want to acquire you right that's happened with havens and it was one other studio it happened with right um but deviation games it has not been one of those studios yet and it doesn't look like it's gonna happen um so deviation games you know them working on this first person shooter was very important because like i said it was part of the lot most likely going to be one of the live service games um we know PlayStation has really needed some first person shooters. People have talked about that lack of, you know, that they're really lacking that <clears throat> and they have like a lack of diversity uh, in, in their exclusive uh, catalog. So this this game, I would argue, is and was very, very important. So this report that they're laying off like 90 members of their staff is not good. to me. That's almost like a, a prerequisite to the game being canceled. I don't because this is this is a triple A game. Like they were talking about doing mocap just like a few months ago, I, I think. And also Jason Blundell, who was also I think like one of the vice vice presidents or leads at, at the studio, he left like last year. And he's apparently I I don't know the the accurate details, but apparently he was one of like the original big wigs. Uh, you know, big brains behind Call of Duty and I think specifically zombies. There's another lead there who who was like a core part of the early, um, you know, uh, Call of Duty experience um, at the height of its popularity. But I'm not even sure if he's still there. So, yeah, being that they had that the, the 90 members of staff being laid off has not been confirmed yet. But if that's true and this was a first party, I mean, a a a a triple A game. You can't, and the studio was only, I think it was estimated that the studio size was about 150 people. You can't make no AAA game with just, what, 60 people left? Like, that's going to that's gonna be very hard. And my math is terrible. I just did, I just did that in my head. Uh, one, one, what did I say? 150 uh, minus 90, yeah, 50, 60, whatever, whatever the amount is. Um, yeah, I don't see how you're going to be able to finish out that this project and it doesn't seem like it was like at the end of um at the end of development in 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 any type of way. Like this was not going to be a game that we saw at um that I think we would we were going to see at the uh at the show at the showcase, the alleged showcase that that's going to happen. So yeah, I don't I don't know what's going to happen with this game. But and 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 by the way, Sony doesn't own this studio, so it's my understanding that PlayStation doesn't make the decisions of the layoffs. They don't own them. They can't. They, PlayStation can't lay off people. They could possibly pre prevent a layoff since you, since you're you are financially backing this studio, um, but it, that doesn't seem to be the case that they were interested in that. Like I said, they. They didn't. They don't seem to be interested in acquiring the studio like they have uh, some other studios in, in that they partnered with during the process. 
So it's it's not looking good. I don't know. It's look it's looking very sketchy. Um, Deviation Studios, the 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 heads there, they're the ones who decided to do these layoffs. But it, it's clear that some something is going wrong. Um, and and milestones probably weren't being met with with this game for some reason. And uh, I don't I don't know. I really, it's not good. I I really don't know what could possibly be be happening, but it's not good. Like I said, I don't know how you finish a a, a triple A game, um, uh, when you when you cut such a large port uh part of your of your workforce. Um, you know, they talked about having high ambitions and you know their workforce growing pretty fast since twenty twenty one, and you know they talked about their you know. Uh, their their experience as a as a as a as a studio, the veterans having um, all this this decades worth of experience of of making games, and they wanted to innovate and all this stuff. Um, yeah, they they talk about it was going to be this huge content rich game focused on action and energy. Yeah, that don't look like it's going to happen now. So I don't. Yeah, I, I have no idea what like is is the game actually still. In development, does there's a lot of there's a lot of theories out there. Pe- people are saying, um, I don't know. It, it was definitely it was going to be published by by Sony. It's 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 backed by them. This seems to be one of the ones that are that are not working out, and it's uh it's important um, because, like I said, they need uh, some of these uh, first person shooters to get out of here to to you know to really launch. But yeah, I I don't I don't know what else to speculate. Um, what else to speculate? But besides that, but I, I think there are a few like red flags and warning signs. When you know, when we see things things in the gaming industry, shit like oh, passion project. To me, when you say passion project, that's a red flag. When you say things like the B, you know, when you re, when you learn the B team, the B team of a studio was working on on a game, that's a red flag. When you when they say oh, this is the largest game we've ever worked on it, within uh scope and the scale and and it's ambitious and Amb- that ambitious that ambitious word look at some of the biggest failures in gaming that word is always used at the beginning when they describe it now a, a lot of developers kind of use that word but like when they overemphasize the ambitious oh this is the this is nothing like we've ever done before like nobody's ever done this. This is a very ambitious project. Red flag. That's like a 50, 50% chance of failing because they be, they be doing way too much, way more than they can handle. They ain't going to meet the milestones. They, I, I hate when I hear people say, Oh, scale and scope and size. And it's huge and, and, and ambitious. Nope. Bad. That's bad. That's bad. And apparently now when, when I hear, and I think other people also, when you hear, oh, this it's a brand new studio comprised of former veteran developers, eh, that's a red flag too, buddy. That's a because it's like they automatically assume like they think it's a foregone conclusion. Oh, we're veterans and we did this over here. So and we're the best minds and the most experienced uh of that, you know, when when we did that. We could do it on our own with a little bit of backing or even, you know, with a pub with another publisher publisher um, or even by ourselves. Now, granted, some have done it. Some have have done it, but it seems to it seems to be very common now in the industry and their games be take they be taking forever to make the damn game. And it don't it don't come out with the vision that they originally had. Yeah, that's I think that's a warning size at at, at warning sign at this point so yeah i got no idea what's what's going on with, with this deviation shit in this first person shooter the game they were working on if it'll even ever even come out but it ain't looking good the game i think the game might be canceled like i said i don't because i don't see how you finish the game with this type of you know after this layoff and with this um with this workforce uh unless playstation steps in and does something i don't see yeah this this i think this like i said i think this just might be a prerequisite to the game being canceled this game might be very much canceled. Um, so yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, I'm sure we'll get more details on this at another point. 
I'm out of here. Peace.